great job on the board, but overall play, his post game, his individual defense, really good work. Six points, four boards, two blocks. Celtics perfect at the free throw line, eight for eight. And the lead back up to six. Getting full court pressure. Well, when you got a lockdown defender like Scal, <laughs> you gotta let him go. Scalabrini doing a good job keeping Odom in front of him. Odom lost the ball. Oh, gets it back. Bryant with six on the shot clock. Marco Davis the rebound. Bryant thought he got fouled. And Rondo couldn't handle a pass. Bad outlet from Davis. Although Davis yelling at Rondo, hey, you got to run. No, but Rondo's right. That should have been a last shot of the quarter. Remember, game two, they had the same problem at the end of the quarter. Poor outlet pass led to Kobe Bryant's three. And you talked about Scalabrini's lockdown defense making fun. But the bottom line is that possession was pitch perfect. Paid attention to the to the, the scouting report. Did not allow Lamar Odom to get to his left hand and forced them into getting rid of the basket. Absolutely. He's a very good... Remember, he had a 25-point game against Detroit in the playoffs when he was with the Nets. He's a serviceable player. Nine seconds remaining. Shot clock off. Tony Allen, who's done an excellent job on Bryant in this series, guards him here. Bryant to drive. Kicks it out. Shannon Brown fires it up. Nope, they wave it off, would not have counted anyway. And that's fitting for the Lakers, a missed shot to end the half as they shoot 26% from the field. Both Bryant and Gasol struggling big time shooting the basketball as the Celtic defense was excellent. Laker defense not that bad either. And Paul Pierce leading the way with 11 points to the Celtics. He's with Doris. Your defense sensational there, particularly on Kobe and Powell. What are you doing well with their two guys? Well, we're just helping out when they put the ball on the ground, uh, limiting them from getting into the paint, and limiting their, their wide open looks. I think we're doing a good job in protecting the paint and getting hands up on the shots. Ron Artest kept them afloat in the second period, Paul. What changes about strategy if he continues? Well, I got to keep them off the offensive boards. You got a couple offensive boards for layups. Uh, uh, one in transition, so got to do a better job at finding them on, on the shot and, and his three point shots. Paul, thank you. Mike. Thank you. All right, Doc Rivers keeps saying that he's their best scorer. He was in the first half as the T-Mobile halftime report. Coming up next with Stewart, Magic John, and Michael. They'll look at the first half and then check in on Kobe Bryant's legacy. Game seven of the NBA Finals here from the Staples Center in Los Angeles. One game, the winner will become NBA champions again. Halftime, Celtics 40. Lakers 34. Come on, relax. Get into the game. You know, use your ball fakes. Use your ball movement. The key for us, this next 24 minutes, is we got to <laughs> stay aggressive, keep attacking, all right? And every possession is big. We can't take one off. All right, we can't take one off. We got to go get this, right? Halftime of game seven of the NBA Finals from Los Angeles. And the Celtics right now with a six point advantage. 24 minutes or perhaps more to come. And you see some very ugly offensive numbers, especially for the Lakers. Shooting 27%, you're going to have a lot of chance for offensive rebounds. 15 of them. But they still trail by six as we get set for the third quarter. And hi again, everyone. A very strange first half. The defense, they played with such passion. They played so hard. They made it very difficult for any offensive rhythm. And for the Celtics, the key for them is always if they can get things going in terms of the running and transition game. It was hard to do, but when they did, it was effective. It was, and the key is they defended well, but they didn't rebound the ball well enough. But when they did do it, they this, got transition opportunities. And this is our Windows 7 winning combination. You see Rondo, the high outlet near half court. He attacks. Two Laker bigs are str struggling in transition. He gets all the way to the rim. And then whenever you miss a transition opportunity, most times you give up one. Good outlet by Pierce. Four Lakers behind the ball. Good decision by Rondo as he pushes it with pace. Bryant doesn't step over and stop the ball. He takes it all the way to the rim and finishes. And Rondo had that early start. He played well. 
Anthony. Well, our Coors Light cold hard look mark for you is about rebounding. Celtics certainly miss Kendrick Perkins, and that's been a big story for them because of the way the Lakers dominated that offensive glass. Well, absolutely, and that's no excuse to be dominated on the offensive boards, giving the Lakers hope in the second half. Talking about Paul Gasol shooting a wide open jump shot. Small guys on the perimeter, you gotta fight and be involved. Corner jump shot by Ron Artest. Just Ronald, the smallest guy in green, the only guy in the paint. Recipe for disaster. And then active hands, the length of the Lakers dominating. One shot, two shot, three shots, four shots, five shots. They do a great job of pursuing the basketball, and it has given them hope and kept them in this ballgame. Well, with 24 minutes to go, the NBA championship still very much up for grabs as we check in with Doris Burke. Mike, I caught up with Laker assistant Frank Hamlin. There was real frustration in their inability to swing the basketball offensively. I asked him what Boston was doing differently. Defensively, he said they're trying to keep Kobe on one side of the floor. We have priest as a staff all series to swing the basketball. If we don't do that, we'll be ineffective on the offensive end, guys. All right, Doris. Phil Jackson said about this game, it's a high-tension situation. Nice pass, Rondo to Garnett. Just in that first half again, we'll talk about a little bit how much of it is some game seven nerves? How much is fatigue? These guys are really battling out there. Well, they're competing extremely hard. I thought near the end of the half, the Celtic perimeter players were very tired as our test went to the rim. And good second effort. Pierce blocked the first shot. And the strength of our test, he's got 14 points to lead all scores. And it's been in the paint where he's done his work. Rondo, you see wearing that band-aid, he got four stitches in game six, and he took a shot from our test and a drive to the basket. And Kobe Bryant counted, and a foul. No, they're going to say before the shot. The foul is on Bryant. Garnett felt the contact and wisely threw it up at the basket, banked it in. But they will not call continuation. I like what Rondo's doing. Calls Kevin Garnett at half court. Certainly not in the act of shooting. It says, settle down. Don't worry about it. Stay the course. Let's run our sets, and we'll get something good again. Just the first foul on Bryant. Rondo looking for Ram. Allen turns and shoots. That won't go. Ray Allen just one of seven from the field. And foul on the pass. Rajon Rondo picks up his second. Right now, foul problems is only one player who has three. That's Kevin Garnett. Of course, that means a lot for the Celtics. Without Kendrick Perkins, out with a knee injury, suffered in the first quarter of game six. And Garnett talking a lot emotionally about Kendrick Perkins. Remember, it was Garnett last year who missed the playoffs with that knee injury. He knows what it's like to sit and watch how difficult that is. Perkins, very popular player on the team, a significant loss for the Celtics. Bryant, long three. And Garnett tips it to Pierce. I thought that was a very tentative move by Powell Gasol. Wasn't trying to make a play. Nice pass inside. Garnett gets it to go. And a foul. Slot pass in, and the Celtics back up by eight. Rondo is playing outstanding basketball tonight. You cannot front if there's no ball pressure. There's no need to front if you're Gasol. Good on-point pass by Rondo, but a bad decision by Gasol. Well, Garnett to the free throw line. Bryant, by the way, that's his second foul. After that last miss, he's three for 15 from the field. And this equals the largest lead for the Boston Celtics. You can count on one hand how many good looks he's had all night. Give credit to the Celtic defense and also to Bryant for being impatient. Wow, it's good help. Bryant shot short. Another miss. But another offensive rebound. Artest steps back for three. That won't go. Rondo comes up with it. Yeah.